Today, I'm going to do some wiring and add some utility to my 2007 club car precedent, affectionately named Ron Burgundy. What we're going to do is add a wiring harness for a utility trailer. I'll explain why in a little bit. I've got a dome light that we're going to put up here on the roof rack or the roof rail, and that'll add some uh, nighttime light for our workstation here if we're out in the backyard or at a friend's house with tools and so forth. And then last but not least, we're going to add a backup light onto our safety bar here. So a lot of wiring. We'll work through it together. So let's get started. start with why on earth do you need a trailer wiring harness for a golf cart so it's a four pin connector I do use this trailer or this cart to pull around my utility trailer around my property a little bit we do use it in the neighborhood um, from time to time and I definitely use it on Halloween to do hay rides and cart some kids around and that is my primary reason um, the cart itself obviously has lights, has underglow, but uh, the trailer itself was very dark and there's a lot of cars circulating in the neighborhood and so forth. So I want to have the trailer lights on if I'm going to be using it at night. This is a piece I picked up on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Comes with some instructions, just kind of telling you which wires go where, and then some hardware. And it does come with this clip. So I'll be able to mount it to the bottom of the trailer hitch. I'll show you the plan in a second. Another Amazon find. This I'm just going to hardwire right into my fuse panel. It has a little clicky clack button here. So you'll be able to manually select it right at the light. And this is another um, cheaper backup light. We're going to hardwire this into the dashboard. It'll have its own on and off switch in the dash and that'll be either for reverse or if working in the trailer or so forth so we'll start trying to figure out how we're going to get the wiring for these all the way up front so obviously this is the mad jacks genesis 300 rear seat with the trailer hitch accessory i'm going to mount the bracket to the frame of the trailer hitch itself which will put the harness right about there which is pretty much perfect um, it'll be hidden when not in use just like it's on a vehicle so that's the plan with that we'll figure out a way to secure all the wiring i am going to have to give it a little bit extra play for when i want to fold the seat up so we'll pre-plan for that as far as that backup light we'll drill a hole here run the wires down out this bottom and i'll put it into a loom all together and we'll shoot that out to the front so i'm going to work on that for a few be back with you all right step one drilled a entry hole for wiring should be wide enough to get all of this in there and through and then we will put this guy on with the self tappers and the bracket will be mounted should be able to shove those wires through there i'm going to stagger the connections a little bit so it's not so wide here, so we'll probably cut this open a little bit more. We'll put one butt connector here, and then I'll drop another one down there, so we'll be able to fish those down through and out the bottom side of this. Things have escalated quickly. I ended up having to take this bar out to, I don't know, just make it easier to fish this through. I did get some wires out the bottom here. so. But to get them through, I actually had to separate this pin here. So we're going to have to squeeze those back in without pinching these. So this is problematic. That's a little messy, obviously, at the moment. So I'm going to use a C-clamp to uh, press this back in. 
but I've got to finagle those wires and make sure I'm not clamping them down on the wire. So make sure they're separate and uh, clamp these things down. So that worked. Got this clamp back down. They're free in there. They're moving down at the bottom. So I finally got the wires through this safety bar. Um, get that back attached. We can just leave it off. We'll put the trailer hitch piece on first. So two self tappers. I snapped this guy into place. So now that'll be there. Now we're just going to run some wires. I'm going to wire it with the seat up because I would assume that's the most length I'm going to need. So we're going to run the wires through the cart up this way. I'm going to build a loom. Um, show you that in a second. That'll house all of these and go up into the battery compartment. So I've got 10 feet of protective wire wrap, Harbor Freight. Uh, and then these are the colors. I don't have brown, so we will substitute brown with blue. So white is going to be the ground. Blue is the running lights. And then I don't remember green is either right or left and yellow is either right or left. There is the diagram back there. So we'll, before we hook them in back there, we'll obviously worry about that. Uh, got all this wiring, Amazon. Um, I'm going to tape this up here. I'm going to put it in this loom. And then I'm going to start feeding it through. We'll feed it through the pocket, the existing pocket. That pretty much goes out right above the motor as well. And then we'll figure out a way that we want to attach it to the cart cleanly underneath. Um, these big batteries, I have them shut off. I'll just shut off tow run just for fun. But these actually have an off switch, so they're currently off. So let me tape this up. We'll loom it and we'll get that through. Oh, where'd the tape go? Okay, enough talking to myself. So here's where I'm at. All my wires coming out of the back are in this little loom going down into that main entry point. Coming out the electrical box, we'll end up zip tying it up to the engine wires. And then those are now coming up. Those are going to the backup light and then we'll get these wired in and figure out how we're going to secure all this so it stays put. All right, so here's the under the seat. Got it ran in our little loom, taped up a little Y connection going up to that backup light. And then uh, I got plenty of play down here. We'll drop the seat and figure out how much slack I need. Uh, I'll probably just pull it real tight. It's probably the best idea, right? Get under there, pull it tight, and then uh, drop the seat and see what. What I need, I was thinking about like some sort of bungee situation where, you know, have a bungee mounted under there. So when I pull the seat up or put it down, it, whatever, you know what I mean? Okay. Anyway, that's where we're at for now. There we go. Why is the ground still so cold? Also, why am I doing this project? I don't know, because it's fun.
Right? Is that why we all do this? Yeah, tighten up a couple more that are under here. Okay. That should be good for underside. So it's the next day. I had to give up last night. This is how far we got. Got some wiring down in here. So I did some mismatched colors because two of these are going to be for that dome light. And then eventually I would like to get one of those XO gear speakers for up here. So I'm going to have those wires just kind of hanging out up here uh, waiting for that. I haven't bought it yet. But what a pain in the neck to try and get those wires through there. Uh, I have this all unbolted so it would the wires would at least be able to slide through. And uh, it took me a while. I went down and got one of those small little wire fishers and I cut the end off. It still wouldn't push through that bar. I don't know why. Uh, but eventually just I snaked another wire down through. Eventually it got down. I tied them all together and then these pulled up really quick. So that's my update at the moment. Let me get the, I'm going to get the upright back on it. I'm going to get the dome light on that. We'll wire that in with one of these and get a loom in and uh, I'll be right back. I got updates. My little dome light is in. In a little loom, I screwed that up into this rail. And that's going down the upright. This blue and black wire will be for the speaker when that arrives. I just have that tucked back in. Getting all of these wires down through here was a complete pain. I'm going to leave these here at the moment because uh, I've got to take apart the body a little bit. I got to get this mat out and I do have to loosen the dash to get at that channel that runs underneath here so that I can, because the wires run right here and then they're going to go up into the double take dash and there's a fuse panel back there. So we'll get that opened up here in a second. I do have the trailer hitch wiring harness complete. So it's green from the harness, but it goes to yellow from the double take light kit. The brown from the harness, which I substituted for blue because I didn't have a brown wire. That's for the running lights. And then over here, this goes to the right or left side directional which is green for the double take but it's yellow on the harness per those instructions the white ground i brought and grounded it with the battery junction my fuse panel is back in here so we will i don't have this screwed down at the moment because i knew i was coming in so we're gonna have to make some sense of this here in a second now don't judge me now it's my cart i'm not selling this the wiring in there was not good and we'll work on some of that today all right so we've got our that's well, going to get stuffed into there i made a very very long loom of those four wires what i'm going to do now those are going to get poked down into this hole that's going to come out into this wheel well there is an area back there that you're able to snake it around the uh, support upright so we'll do that i'm going to bring it in probably one of these holes here we'll get it across this loom poke back in i have all of this loosened up this is loose this is loose we'll probably have to stop the wire loom here because it'll be too thick to get in this channel i'm already pretty much tapped out um, the black and red here is from that backup light. I have that already pulled up into here. We'll mess with that in a little while. What I want to do is get all the wires up into the bucket before I cut them because then we're going to start putting them into that fuse panel. Some of them are just going to be hardwired because they're on their own power. And then, well, the dome light's going to be just hardwired with no switch. And then for that backup light, we're going to wire in one of these guys. I do not have all of them wired in. So we'll talk about that in a minute. See how there's two that are just empty. So we got to deal with that. Uh, I was looking at this. It's really not that bad outside of the sensor for the underglow. Because 
you were to put a speaker right here next to this, the underglow will dance with the music, if you will. Uh, so it's really, it's actually not that bad. It's got the double take harness in there for the headlight. The headlight switch is huge for that. And then really it's, it's actually not that horrible um, to figure out. Like I say, a lot of it is that underglow harness. But uh, that's what we're working on. We'll figure out how much of this we actually need. Quickly, I had left this bolt out because uh, I had a feeling once I got that bolt in, it would hold the plastic. And look at that. It is like absolutely stuck in there. So I can pull on this all I want. And with that bolt, it's pinching it. So now we'll go ahead and tuck all of that back down into that opening. All right, welcome to the party at the underbody. Uh, so here's where it is coming in. This is where I'm at. Like, there's the motor, there's the upright, there's the tire. Here's the uh, box that holds your, all your electricals, right? So I just put a little self tapper there with a clamp that's holding this in. So that's not going anywhere anymore. It's out of the way of the wheel. We came down here. Sent it through the zip tie. In a previous video, I'd mentioned that with the Navitas controller, I could not get this closed. So that was my solution. Anywho, now that's coming in. This is going up into the battery compartment. We'll show you that up top. So here's that coming in. Plan is to bring that up and along. Go in through here. That's probably where I will remove my covering. But we'll get all the wires through, get the wires up into the box, and then I'll trim how much I need. So I'm at evening three with this little project. It's been off and on for a couple of days now, obviously. Uh, it's been a little bit more time consuming than I had hoped. I've got that loom sent through the dash. We're not obviously going to need all this, so we'll size it and cut it accordingly. I do have the body button back down. I've got my wires taped down to the floor, so I'll be able to put the mat back in here. Uh, the plan for the buttons, so see when I turn the key on, these light up. So I'll show you that right now. So here we are at my tailgate workstation. Those buttons, I bought four of them. They come with four different ways that you can uh, wire those up. So when power gets to them, the light can come on, or when power gets to them, the light can stay. The light can stay off until power comes on. What I chose is that when I turn the key on and the switch receives power in ready, uh, ready stance, if you will, that little LED light circle comes on, which I think is selection number three. So back when I originally put this in, I tied the yellow together. Um, so to do it in that format, we've got the green and the red into one. This will go to the fuse panel. The blue goes to the positive of the unit that you're looking to turn on. So in our case for today, that backup light. This goes to the red wire or the positive wire, the backup light. This is the negative wire that goes to the backup light, but the negative will also go to the fuse panel. So we'll have a, a jumper from the fuse panel to a connection, and then I'll put that into that negative. So that's how these switches are wired up. Um, or that's my configuration. All right, I moved backup light here. This is the forward uh, roof light. That's my underglow. My connections are made here. Negative positive through a fuse in. Let's see what happens. Well, there's that. Cool. So I'm going to cut a little bit of this out. I'm just going to run uh, that dome light, which is my yellow and uh, white. I'm going to just put those on the positive negative, put a fuse in that, and that dome light should be active. That button is up there. So get that done. And then that's pretty much going to wrap this project up. Here's our loom coming from the roof in the blue fuse which is a 15, I believe. Uh, we've got our negative to the positive. That is just for the little dome light. 
And oh, got to turn the key on. All right, everything's working. That's cool. So I got a little cover. I'll get that cover on the fuse panel. And we'll start buttoning everything up. So our fuse panel covers on, I've got them labeled. So if for some reason something goes out, we know which is where. And I know that looks like a, it looks pretty bad, but I don't know. I've been rooting around in here for a little while and I, you can figure it out. So it'll all get covered up. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and button this up. It de desperately needs a bath. We might have had some fun. It's got kind of a spilled drink all over it. And uh, so we'll get cleaning up and uh, be testing on it later tonight. <laughs> tend to wash them this way it's just because the majority of it is just dusty right so hosing it down I mean that pretty much takes care of most of the dust right and then uh, by the time I dry all this off and run this damp towel over everything pretty much will take care of all of it we had like I said uh, spilt drink on the front so it was a little sticky there and I don't know, it just comes out better. Get some water behind everything. I didn't put the extreme mat back in yet because I needed to wash that and let that dry first. Because water gets under that and it just doesn't dry out too quick. So we'll get it all dried off first and then we'll put the mat back on and screw the dashboard back in. Then it's really done.
I need my phone. All right, so I'm not exactly sure how the camera is going to pick this up, but let's try the. So there's that. A little reverse light. I can pretty much see what's going on in here. And then I've got my dome light. So that is perfect for what I wanted to be able to. I wanted to be able to see this deck for when we bring things to different places. And with that and with that reverse light on, I can completely see what's going on back here at night. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty satisfied with this. Yeah, that's really bright. That's awesome. Even with the seat up, we're using the seat. That helps. So, I don't know. I wasn't really looking forward to all the wiring, but I've been looking forward to getting this job done. So, that's that. That's going to do it for this video. Uh, the whip lights on our white cart from the previous video kind of inspired me to do that trailer hitch plug because we knew which wires to go into uh, with the double take uh, light kit. So that one, that part went a lot smoother than when we did those whip lights. And like I say, that previous video, you know, the dome light and that light pretty straightforward as far as the wiring. Just man, it took me a long time to get those things um, sent through. So a little bit tedious, but I've been wanting to do these uh, little upgrades for a little while now, so glad to have gotten that done. I uh, appreciate everybody hanging in. Please like and subscribe if this video was helpful to you, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Yeah.